Also known as the Red Plus Redness Project, the FCPF this week handed over close to $5 million in equipment and supplies to three main indigenous representative groups of Region 9, the Kanuku Mountain Community Representative Group, KMCRG, South Rupununi District Council, SRDC, and the North Rupununi District Development Board, NRDDB. The supplies included computers, hard drive generators, cameras, solar panels and operating systems, communication equipment, and office furnishings, among others. Red Plus' ultimate goal is to contribute to climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions. At the moment, its Red Plus Readiness Capacity Building Project is conducting a 21-month consultancy program in the hinterland region, focusing on strengthening and building the capacity of key indigenous and forest-dependent institutions and stakeholders. They feel that they are now being part of this because pre previously, you know, we were just told once and then the, re the reports were not coming back. So when, for example, Mr. Clinton Hals is here to do presentation, we would, and when the two shows were out, disseminate the information and the feel that there's been part, because when you, and there are lots of brochures and leaflets being given out to the communities. Now that commentary, like documentation, having it more documented and like seeing it real is a big plus for us. Understanding red and as indigenous people, how we can contribute to ensuring that Guyana has a proper Red Plus strategy considering our, our ideas and our, our, our roles as indigenous people. Speaking on behalf of the Minister of Natural Resources, Minister in the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Valerie Garida Lowe, said the Ministry was pleased with the support given to communities and progress of the Red Plus project thus far. You are truly blessed. Region 9, with all its variety, is also somewhat of an intersection of our natural resource potential, since it holds many of the resources that are important to us. Gold and diamond, precious and semi-precious stones, our water resources, our mountains, and most importantly, our forests. Interestingly, it is best known and revered not for the extraction of these resources, but rather the preservation of them. Earlier in the year, FCPF delivered over $5 million in equipment and supplies to the NTC, while similar provisions have been made for similar indigenous NGOs with which the FCP is partnering. Felicia Valenzuela, Info Hub.